Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing all good today. So it's that time of the month where we will sit down and talk about all the makeup products that I've been enjoying throughout the whole of March. There is a couple of skincare products in here as well and there's one series that I've been addicted to as well. So if you love watching favourites videos, do give this video a thumbs up and if you don't want to miss out on the April's favourites, then hit subscribe and yeah, let's go. Okay, if you're wondering what makeup I've got on today, I've got two palettes on. I've got the I Heart Revolution, now that's what you call 90s, and I've also got the I Heart Revolution Death by Chocolate, which is actually in my favourites. So, okay, I'm going to start off with the eyeshadow palette I've just mentioned. This is the I Heart Revolution Death by Chocolate, I Heart Makeup actually. I keep saying it wrong. So this is when it used to be I Heart Makeup, and this cost me £4. And I've used this to create a wing effect eyeshadow on my eyes today. I used the shade All Is Lost, which is a black black eyeshadow. Anyway, this is the case in. I really like this palette. I think it's such a stable palette to have in your eyeshadow collection. I have mentioned this before on my channel. I've actually done a video on this as well. So if you want to check that out, I will put it in the cards or link it down in the description box. This palette you could wear it in the evening, you could wear it at daytime. Like it's that's why I think it's such a stable palette because you can really transform a day to night look with it easily just by adding depth with the black eyeshadow and stuff. But the shimmers in here are really pretty as well, very like soft looking to the eye. Um, yeah, and this black is a pretty good black as well. There's some blacks that I've tried in iHeart Revolution palettes that are quite like faded, but this is a pretty good black. I do prefer the black eyeshadow in the black mini eyeshadow palette, but this is not far from my favourite black eyeshadow from I Heart Revolution palettes. But yeah, um, I really like this shade for highlight in the inner corner. That is called Bring Down the Angels, and it's when they had um, a name sheet. They didn't have names on the palettes these days, but yeah, definitely this palette's been a big hit for March when I bought it. And for four pounds, I got it in a sale. Literally couldn't go wrong with it. I was quite surprised with this palette. I thought it was going to be a hit or miss, like a, the fruit and nut palette, but this is definitely a good one. Okay, next palette, I Heart Revolution. I was quite surprised I picked this out for my favourites, but it is the cinnamon palette. I have been picking this up more and more often throughout the month, and I actually didn't think I would. Like, when I first brought this, I thought, nah, I probably won't. I probably won't use this a lot, but I was wrong. This is coming handy for so much doing eyeshadow looks. I've used this quite often when I've recreated some other people's eyeshadow looks. Um, this is an all matte eyeshadow palette, which is absolutely fab. I don't have a eyeshadow palette that is all matte, and now I do. So again, this would be great to pair up with the Unicorn Heart Glow eyeshadow shimmer palette which i will mention in the minute because this is all matte and if you want to add some shimmer you could easily go into that palette i suppose you could wear this all year round there's a lot of autumn shades in here and quite wintry shades but you could easily do a sunset eye with this during the summer if you wanted i say it's quite grungy as well like you could do a, a contrast black and pink look what i've done before on my channel quite similar to this i've also got glitter on my brow bone as well which I quite like but it's not my favourites and cinnamon palette it actually does smell like cinnamon like as soon as you open it you get that whiff the next palette what I did slightly mention is the new unicorn heart glow shimmer palette now this casing is very unique it's got like a tint on it but this is definitely my favourites for this month because I've been using this a lot. I've done all shimmer eye looks with it. I've done two looks on my channel, so I will link them down below if you want to check out how I've used this palette. My favourite shades out of this palette is Alchemy, Narwhal, I like Phoenix, and I love any of these shades on the top half of the palette for an inner corner highlight or a shade on the brow bone. It feels so buttery as well. Like, it's not like those shimmers that feel quite, quite rough. These feel buttery, so if you want a buttery shimmer, this is your go-to. Like, look how stunning that is. It's just, yeah, it's a piece of art, that is. Okay, so moving on to general makeup stuff. Um, on the same theme as the Unicorn Heart Glow, I had to pick out these two products. These three products are my fave out of the whole Unicorn Heart Glow collection. So we've got the Unicorn Heart Highlighter, which 
is this in this cute cardboard traditional high heart resolution packaging so you've got you, you've got three shades here you've got a, a white shade a pink shade and a gold shade very pretty and what i tend to do with this i just mix them all together and just create a highlight i don't have it on today the highlight i've got on today is the rose fizz palette and this mist absolutely love this mist um smells incredible it's got um a vanilla blossom scent to it yeah it's really nice and it does have like a slight sparkle particles in this product but it's not overpowering like it's not distracting when you put it on your face it's got a slight shimmer to it which is really cute i wish that you could see what it looks like um let me just spray it on my hand um you can see it slightly it's not you're not be able to see that but absolutely smells amazing and yeah you could just wear this for ultimate glow let's put some on definitely gives a nice glow okay next up we've got a brow product this is the anastasia beverly hills brow freeze wax i've got it on my brows today perfect for sticking those hairs up especially if you've got like hairs that don't stick up basically like mine you don't get a lot in here but a little goes a long way you don't need a lot I do find it quite stay put in, a really good product, probably the only product that has worked better than soap. If you want a soap feather brow, go for this, it is expensive though, but it's worth it. A blush that I've been enjoying, it's not new, it's the Annabelle's Minerals Mineral Brush in the shade Romantic. I really like this blush, especially if I'm doing like a smoky eye look, I've got it on today. Um, it's a dusty pink blush, it's not, it's a powdery pink blush, it's not a blush that's like hot pink not too dramatic and that's what I like about it because if you're doing like a dramatic eye and just add a slight dust of pink on the cheeks it works really nice um yeah I really like this I remember I got this in my rocker box ages ago like it's gotta be like two years ago or something and I've only just recently started picking up more and more often so yeah really nice blush oh I should have mentioned this but I put in the unicorn heart glow lip balm um, this is in the shade Story, but I do like the shade Adventure, what they've got as well. It gives you like a sheer shine gloss, but it is quite, I wouldn't say it's sheer though. I mean, it is advertised sheer, but the pop of colour is quite popping. Shall I put that on? Like that. Yeah, these feel really soft to the lips. They don't drag on your lip, very moisturising, and they do have that same scent vanilla blossom what they've got in the collection another brow product it's not new i've just been picking up more and more often this month this is the lottie london arch rival volume powder i've got it in the shade medium but i've been really getting into brow powders especially to do my brows recently um i don't know why i think it just adds more thickness to the brow i do have a very sparse brows i don't have this on today because i wanted a brow that was quite sparse for this look um i didn't want a dramatic brow if i want a brow that looks quite thick i tend to go in with a powder and then use a pencil on top of it or uh, a pomade just to give it more depth and a bit of texture but yeah brow powders i wanted to get this again but i couldn't find the same shade so i'm looking for another brow powder but this has been a good one for this month. So a lip gloss what I brought this month. This is the Jeffree Star Supreme Gloss in the Shade Tea Bag. This is my first ever Jeffree Star Cosmetics lip gloss and I was blew away. It's probably the most pleasurable application I've ever had on my lips. More comfy than the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm, which I was blown away by putting it on, but this stepped it up. This feels amazing when you put it on your lips. It's just like, what it was the best gloss ever but i also like wearing this shade when i'm doing like smoky looks too um just that smells absolutely incredible his lip gloss smells very vanilla like which is my favorite in any makeup product i love vanilla scented things yeah really enjoy it and i've asked my boyfriend for my birthday to get me a jeffree star supreme gloss because this formula is the best formula i've tried in a gloss and yeah that's saying something <laughs> okay going on to skincare i've got two items very surprised i picked this up because i don't tend to use a lot of body creams because i'm quite lazy like that but when i received this in my rocker box i thought to myself right i'm gonna give myself a month to use a lot of this and 
I really like it. It's very quick drying, um, very soft to the skin. It just feels really good. I tend to use body lotion in the morning instead of at night time because I don't like the feeling of it when I'm sleeping. I don't know, I feel greasy, but I like to put it on in the morning. So that's given me a chance to actually use my body cream. So this is the L'Occitane. I don't know if I'm saying that right. L'Occitane Milk Concentrate with Almond and Prevents. Um, it's just basically this, it's just a body cream. It's just a body cream, but look how much I've used already ever since I got it in my March rocker box. I've used a lot of this. I've literally panned it. This is my first ever body cream that I've actually nearly used up and that is saying something. Will I repurchase it again? No, because I'm not the type of person to, as I'm pouring it on, I'm not the type of person to keep repurchasing the same body cream. I like to mix it up because I do find it, it gets a bit boring. I've been enjoying using this, it smells amazing as well. Um, yeah, just, I find it very nice to put on. And I've been pouring it on my legs and no joke, I've been using it for a month. It's like changed the texture of my skin on my legs, like it looks better. Like before my legs looked a bit not glowy. Mm, I don't know, this has just really made it brighter. Yeah, it made the skin brighter. And I definitely notice a difference in my skin, like my body and my skin, because I never used body lotion. And now I get the reason why people use body lotion because it does make your skin look brighter. I've been rejuvenated, I've been converted to body creams and I'm happy for it. So thank you to Rockerbox. Okay, I've got one more skincare and I've got a, I've got a series that I've been enjoying recently. So this serum, I got this at my Rockerbox. And this, I've got a second bottle on the go now. This was my first one. So this is the Probiotic by Doctor's Formula Repairing Overnight Repairing Serum. I've used it all up. I had to buy another one. It is quite expensive. It is, I think, about £30 or something. I don't know. But I did notice a difference in my texture in my skin. I use this every morning and night and it made my pores tighter. Like, I swear it made my pores look smaller, which I really do like. And it made my skin look brighter. I don't think it helps with spots. It doesn't really make a difference to my spots, but it's made a difference to the surface on my skin, like the texture and stuff. It just makes it look smoother. Uh, yeah, absolutely love this. This is gonna be one of those serums that I'm gonna keep on repurchasing, I think. I think when you find something in skincare, you wanna keep at it. You don't wanna like change anything. And I think it's one of those serums that I, I don't wanna get rid of it. I don't wanna try anything, anything new. I really like it. So that is everything makeup wise and skincare. A series that I've really been enjoying is Breaking Bad. Now, I've actually never seen Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad was so hyped and I can see why. I don't know why I never sat there and just watch it, but I find it the most gripping show ever. Like I've had to stop watching Gossip Girl to make room for Breaking Bad because I, I literally want to watch the next one when I finish an episode. And I cannot wait today. I'm gonna do a massive marathon. I'm on season three, I think. And I remember when people were saying it's quite slow at the start, a slow burner to get into. But do you know what? I never found that. Like, even from the start, I absolutely loved it. And it's just progressively getting better and better. I literally don't know what to do when it finishes. But I've got Winter Soldier to watch, Marvel from Disney Plus, um, so that can keep me going whilst I finish Breaking Bad. So that is everything to my March favourites. We've got a lot of makeup, we've got some skincare. My favourites usually contain the majority of makeup because that's what I tend to find more favourites. Um, I don't have time to watch a lot of series. I watch my series in the night time, usually in, in the minute it's just Breaking Bad. So I hope you enjoyed today's video, my March favourites. Um, let me know what your favorite thing about March that you found. Did that make sense? Let me know what you found, what was your favorite in March in the comments down below. And yeah, if you don't wanna miss out on April's favorites, do hit subscribe because I'll be doing these every single month. And yeah, hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this video of course, it sure helps my channel out. And I hope you have a lovely day, night, every time you're watching this and I shall see you in the next one. Bye.